I've been thinking a lot lately about this quote that I saw on social media regarding the great late Virgil Abloh, R.I.P. Virgil Abloh, gone but never forgotten, gone but never bloody forgotten. And there's this really good quote I've been thinking about because it got me thinking in general about some of the missteps and errors that I've kind of made along the way, especially in recent years, and some of the things that I've been kind of quote unquote lacking on just in general. And the quote that I'm going to show you that I've been thinking about is this particular one, courtesy of social media that I found this weekend or this past weekend on my travels, doing what I like to do best, which is, you know, waste a bunch of time on social media and procrastinating shit. So this particular video was taken from one of the last, um, you know, videos that Virgil Abloh filmed before he's untimely passing. I think this might have been one of the ones that he was doing for his like off-white university mentorship thing that he was doing. Um, again, you have to kind of, you know, the guy was really ahead of his time and really, uh, uh, really stood on his own for the relentless way that he was trying to give away all the codes and, you know, help people through um, doing whatever they were doing in their life. And it was, wasn't always creative. It was just more so like, hey, I've done this thing. Um, I'm Whatever I can do on my side of things to help you do your thing, I'm going to help you do it. So we had this like open forum. I think this was either the open forum or this was like an avenue, an aspect of his like mentorship thing or scholarship program where you could get on stream with him and basically asking questions. And obviously in true Virgil Abloh way, instead of having this behind a paywall, he also had the question Q&A thing with students available on his channel. So you could see somebody that maybe looked like you was on the same was at the same stage of life as you asking this great guy um, who's achieved so much already for advice and maybe you can learn something from it. So amazing, right? And one of the quotes to come out of this session that really has been ringing true in my head and I've kind of been mulling over and meditating on this past weekend was the following: Don't do it for them, do it for you. Everything I do is for the seventeen-year-old version of myself. But that particular last quote. Everything I do is for the 70 year old version of myself has been really pinging around in my head this past weekend. And the reason why is because for the longest time, that is what I was doing. For the longest time, when I was trying to do my own thing, I was basically doing it through or I was doing it primarily to kind of appease and to satiate and to satisfy my 70 year old self who was just you know stuck in flipping custom house canning town at that time living on my parents using one dodgy pt to get on the internet but just soaking up every bit of information i could online and wanting to take part like i was actively hungry you know downright frothing gagging at the mouth to take part but quickly realized oh no nah, i can't just you know i don't need to just take part i could also really contribute Right, I don't need to work for these companies. I could kind of do my own thing. I could kind of pave my own way forward. It was really eye-opening to see, oh, wow, the people that started these brands, started these stores, these agencies, these magazines, these record labels, have these amazing parties, these events, had these really cool, amazing moments in culture and stuff. All these people are just like regular people like you and I, right? They, 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 you know, they bleed just like you and I. They're regular human beings. So if they can do it, I can do it too. So that was kind of, you know, that kind of um, realization gave me the drive and the energy to kind of do my own thing, which I ended up kind of doing in terms of doing a bunch of internships, working for a bunch of core cool brands, having some not so good jobs, having some good jobs and blah, 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 blah. But I think along the way, you know, the idea of kind of making something out of it was really something that came to the front of mind. So there was less about doing things just for the fun of it. Everything has to be attached to some sort of monetary fee. Something had to equal, um, had to have a, an, uh, had to have something you could get from it, whether it was clout, social media following, whatever it may be, you was always wanting something from it. Whereas I think in the past when I was doing something, I'll do it purely, purely out of the love, purely just because I wanted to do it, because I found it fun, because I wanted to share, because I just wanted to take part, whatever it may be. But nowadays, things have gone a bit awry. And of course, I've taken my my eye off the ball in certain situations as well, in terms of not really being kind of focused on the things that I should be doing and blah, 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 blah. You know how that one goes. But when I was just looking at this, it honestly got me thinking to like, okay, cool. I need to, I kind of need, I need to get back to that wave. I need, to, I need to get back to the wave of just doing things sometimes just for the love of doing it and not thinking about anything else outside of that and thinking to myself, hey, if I was my 17-year-old self now, if I was my 17-year-old self now, like how would I feel with some of the things and some of the decisions I've made? Would I be like proud of myself or would I be shaking my head thinking, rah, look at all the stuff you have now? Because I remember, you know, when I was coming up and stuff, I've always kind of had this mindset and I'm thankful that I do because I think 
if I didn't because of my procrastination and my usual and my ability to kind of like to sometimes take ages to do things which is basically procrastination but you know what I mean because of my you know um, latent procrastination I feel like if I didn't have the ability to just do things and make it work with what I have available I would be one of those people that just wouldn't do anything so I think that's been one of my um, one of my only good traits over the years but now that I have more access to things I have more tools at my disposal I'm a lot more wiser and older I'm still not doing those things so it's almost like I'm kind of you know I'm kind of going against my mantra I'm going against what I was you know what I kind of do and I'm not really fully tech making the most out of the current situation I'm like weirdly waiting for something I don't know if it's approval I don't know if it's a permission I don't know if it's an opportunity whatever it may be but back then I wasn't I was always just like kind of trying to get out there and get mine which is I think is what some of our kind of forefathers and four sisters kind of did for us out there in it um or four fathers and four mothers so that's what i'm going to be doing now going forward after i've seen this kind of virtual quote because i'm not going to lie it's been mulling over in my head for the longest this past weekend thinking myself raw would the, my 17 year old version of myself be proud of me now and i know this is a question that gets asked all the time on podcasts but i'm framing it more so in the sense of like would they be proud of what i'm doing now like would i be proud of myself at 17 with what i'm doing now with how i'm using my time um with the stuff that i put out with my with my work you know with my output um and whatever else it may be so i'm going forward i'm going to be doing my bestest my bestest to make sure that i satiate and kind of you know and please my 17 year old self because jesus christos sometimes older you get you sometimes lose sight of that sort of thing and you start to you know just expect i won't say i won't say i'm an expecting type of person i don't really think i'm entitled to anything don't get me wrong but you know i, I just think it's a matter of just age and time the, you know you just get to that point where you're like okay cool now where's mine you know you just start holding your hand out and uh, figuratively in your head when really it's never really about that it's always just about like having fun with these type of things and enjoying them and and kind of just doing it for shits and giggles which has always been the best way to do it personally i feel like doing stuff for shits and giggles um and just kind of having a good time with it especially once your bills are paid and stuff should be the best way to go about things because there's less pressure on it you're not really treat you know it's it's never like do or die every time you go out and make content it's not like oh shit this fit pick has to be the one that makes me blow you're just doing it for the sake of it so you're going to be a little bit more creative you're going to be a bit loose there's not going to be so much pressure on the things that you're doing so maybe that might allow you to be more creative etc 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 you know the deal you know the deal so i repeat it's a great virgil Abloh. and on top of that though to end that virgil Abloh segment it's also just interesting to see um the lack of people i wonder if it's i wonder if it's a confidence thing or i wonder if it's like just making sure that you maintain the mystique because that's one thing that he weirdly had in it Vir virgil will be showing us screenshots of like collab of like meetings and like you know um ideas being formulated within the flipping whatsapp dms but then he would also be posting a ton of stories every single day loads of fucking posts on the feed but he's also had a bit of mystique to him but nowadays you don't see any of that whatsoever there is no no one's really doing it at the level that he was doing it everyone's kind of gone back to kind of like you know acting mysterious maybe even myself included not really showing the process and kind of hiding everything and i wonder if that's like something that you probably i wonder if because everyone's doing what he was not doing if maybe the thing that he was doing was the outlier and maybe most people should keep your things locked up and secret or if you should be sharing everything i personally think the latter i personally think sharing everything is the way to go anyway um you know you want people to kind of like know that you're this like you know um uh creative being that has all these amazing ideas and stuff that you're thinking of a million times per hour um which is probably way more important to share that than to always wait for the finished product or to wait for somebody to give you a collab or somebody to endorse you or something and then suddenly you want to pop up and say yeah i'm this person and it's like oh what you're doing yourself is good enough you know you don't need to have somebody kind of um give you validation in order to feel like your art or your practice or well your work is like um valid out there if you say it's valid it's valid you feel me if you say it's valid you're valid and like i've always said i think when it comes to the creative arts and stuff like professionally anyway you get to call yourself anything you want the moment somebody kind of pays you it doesn't matter if they pay you five dollars 
three hundred dollars or five million dollars as soon as somebody pays you for something you get to call yourself a photographer you can call yourself a writer you can call yourself an editor and stylist whatever you want to call whatever you want to call yourself professionally you can someone just has to pay you or a single bloody dime that's all it takes really a single bloody dime and at some at some points as well i don't even think a dime even matters I think the most important thing is that you kind of believe it yourself. So um, big up all the people out there who are trying to get it, who are trying to get it like I am, who are trying to get it like I am. Cool. Lee. Oh.